Hello, this is another quick update video. Working at night, we've got our work light, we've got our little weeby top battery box, and of course, the subject of our night work. Um, you can see, got some more snow. Um, probably gonna have to shovel some of this away from the Mac before I do any test driving. And got a bit of exciting news because I've started installing the third caster wheel onto the steering fork. So now there's three wheels on there, three points of contact. Should make it so the steering fork doesn't angle, you know, backwards so much. Because it's a little off from the actual um, wheel pylon itself. You can see there's a bit of an angle going that way and then it goes up. So hopefully that extra caster should prevent any more sagging. I did have to make a slight adjustment. Um, you can see that it's about half as tall as what I was originally planning for because with its large height it kind of got in the way of the brake arm. So, I mean, so far I mean it hasn't had any catastrophic cracking or anything because I'm using some, uh, I don't know, must be about uh, six inch screws or so. Or maybe eight inch, I haven't actually measured them, so. It's holding in fairly well with just two points of contact, but plan is to put this one right on here, you know, after I cut off the bottom half. And then steering should be all set and we'll have a steering test probably within the next few days. Have to, you know, do the whole merging roll of putting the battery, installing the car battery into the well, it pretty much goes into Marduk's butt in the back end, so... Gotta shove the battery up the butt, and then connect the battery and stuff up, and then I can try the pedals. I still haven't, um, made the pedals stable with the 3D printed whoosie what's its but, you know, that's gonna take a bit of time. There's some snow on the Mac, so it makes it look nice and picturesque. I'm keeping the head inside because of the sensitive, uh, nature of the equipment inside, you know, the LEDs and camera and stuff wouldn't really have fun in the bleak coldness out here, so keep that inside, only install it along with the optical system when I'm about to pilot. And uh, there's the uh, jack that I use to lift up the neck. Uh, you, you can see it's kind of covered in snow, but I'll uh, just demonstrate how, you know, the entire thing kind of shifts a bit. To position the mech underneath one of these um, uh, knuckles. Put the jack into jack mode and then just pump. And up it goes. When it's about ready to touch, do the final positioning. And then up it goes. The entire thing shifts a bit, so whenever you're jacking something, you really want to make sure that it won't roll away on you. So, you just jack it up. Do whatever work you need to, you know, waffle around. I just said, um, there's a bit of a gap right now between the caster and the um, plate. I might actually put a shim on there, so it uh, creates less of an angle. And when you're all done, you flip the little nub on your jack and it will release the arm and it'll settle right back down. So we'll just watch that. You can see what I mean about the um, sagging. That it's got a slight angle, but the caster on the front should be fixing it. But that is all for today. So, be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye bye.